Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the singer-songwriter, Lolly Mariah. Hey, Lolly, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Chilling. <laughs> you are great. Thanks so much for being with me. I appreciate you. Now, listen, I'm interested in sharing some of our music with our audience, please, Lolly. Cool if we go to your YouTube channel and tune into your track, Uncle? Oh, yeah, let's do it. All right, excellent. Okay, everybody, let's tune in now to Lolly Mariah and Uncle. Awesome. Great to share your music with everyone. Thanks so much. Now, listen, I'm interested in learning about you. Please tell me where you're from and how did you become a singer songwriter? Oh, yeah. So I am from the one and only Detroit, Michigan. Good. I also claim New Orleans, though, because that's where I really started my music career heavily. Um, I've been singing ever since I was younger. I was singing in choirs, school choirs, church choirs, all types of choirs, music events. I always wanted to do it. I wanted to be there. Um, definitely, it was influenced by quite a few artists um, in Motown and Detroit, but also just throughout the country and just throughout history. So um, music has just always been my life and that's the way I express myself. So that's why I became a singer songwriter. Lolly, I love it. You know what I mean? And from Detroit and, you know, this powerful persona that you have and also love of music and singing. And so how about the writing too? Is that always something that's come natural to you? Oh, yes. I, well, freestyling first and foremost was kind of how I started writing because I always knew that when I felt either very sad or very happy or just had strong emotions even when I was a kid I wanted to write or sing or do something and I didn't really know what to sing I didn't have a lot of songs memorized so I just started creating creating my own my own version of reality through music and over time that just became something that like I had to do and now I love it so much it's just the way I express myself so my freestyles got better. My writing is great because I love poetry. I've always been like one of those, one of the youth in school who just always loved poetry, part of English. Like that was great creative writing. So yeah, that's, that's, it's always been natural, but it's gotten better over time. Well, listen, I got to tell you what, I'm interested in the writing aspect of it too, because that's really kind of the wellspring of where this creativity comes out of in terms of expressing and articulating those feelings. And so you know, it's cool that you have the ability to, to freestyle like that and to create your own kind of content, 
even at a tender age. And now that you've refined it into this incredible, you know, um, style of your own, I love to hear about some of the influences, Motown and others. Can you tell me some of the artists that you may have enjoyed listening to, Lolly, um, that may have inspired some of your work? For sure. So I always have to shout out Motown because, of course, I'm from Detroit. So um, I loved hearing uh, Diana Ross and The Wiz with Michael Jackson, of course. Um, and Michael Jackson was probably one of my biggest male influences musically. Um, and then, of course, Aretha Franklin, super, super fantastic artist. But my vibe Oh, my vibe comes from like Erica Badu. It's the uh, Lauren Hill. It's that neo soul Jill Scott. Like that's really my vibe. And then maybe some modern artists, more like Danae Eco and Alina Baraz, that type of that type of feel. Oh, that is cool. I love your vibe. So let me let me ask the question now, Lolly. What are you working on now? What's coming up for you? So I plan to release a lot of music, at least a song a month. And actually, I just completed an EP, which is on the Phoenix 360 app Sweet. only. Yes. And um, it's called Permission to Lollygag. So I'm hoping to make like, quite a few different uh, Instagram posts and TikToks and different things really showcasing those songs. It's all meditative and chill. But I've got some other hype songs coming up. I have a song called Hotline coming out soon. Um, that's going to be really nice. And then another song called Hot Pepper. And I've just, i got a lot going on. So just stay tuned. <laughs> well, we're going to dig all the meditative vibes and also those ones that are spicier. And we're looking forward to Lollygag and other kinds of titles that you create that maybe integrate your kind of brand and your name, which I love. And so we're gonna follow your progress. I'm so glad that you just launched on Phoenix 360 on the app and have some exclusive content there currently. Um, so I want everyone to tune in to the social media channels that you find below for Lolly Mariah and look for her rise on Phoenix 360. And thank you, Lolly, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Great to meet with you, take good care. You too. Whispers in my ear make it crystal clear You don't want me more than for one night I tried to make you prove that you're worth the move But I can't get past your green eyes I probably should have known that you were playing games And I was just a pawn and lastly being played But I can't seem to resist you Maybe cause you know you're beautiful, love